This right here is the start of some of the best smoked salmon that you can make, and it's super simple. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Now let's get started. Now this salmon, as you can see, has been sitting in a brine. This is four cups of water, a cup of brown sugar, and a third cup of salt. We've had it in here about eight to 10 hours now, and this is going to help make this some extremely flavorful salmon. Now I got these packs at Costco. They're already kind of filleted up and ready to go so that we can make pretty much portion size salmon fillets. Now that this has been brined, it's time to get it out. And what I'm going to do is I have a wire rack here. I'm gonna start laying this stuff down, actually meat side down. We're gonna try and be as efficient as possible. Now that we've got the salmon out, laid out here on a wire rack, and we're actually gonna be doing all of our cooking on this wire rack, so it is best to use one if you've got it. The reason why is salmon gets brittle, and if you're not careful moving it around, it's gonna fall apart. So the best thing for you to do is use a wire rack so that we can transfer it easily from the smoker. Now, I'm going to go through and pat dry the skin side of the salmon. Now, some people will remove the skin, I like to use it because it helps keep it intact. When you go skinless, you are not going to have as much luck when it comes to keeping this intact as you would if you left it on. So that's why we're using it. I'm gonna take a little bit of spray avocado oil. You can use any kind of spray oil you want. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want it to stick to the wire rack. So I'm doing a quick little spritz, just like so. Now mind you, salmon is oily, but that is the meat itself, not the skin. So we're gonna start to flip this over. And as you can see, this is some beautifully colored salmon fillets. Got these at Costco for about $20 a pack. Got two packs here. I'm gonna try and put the thinner pieces towards this side. As it cooks, we'll keep this side closest to the fire. Now, typically I would use some kind of a binder to get the rub to stick, but since it is saturated from being in that brine, we're not gonna do that. Today, we're gonna be using some of the Hay Grill Hay Sweet Barbecue Rub, and I am going to just, like so, we're gonna do on all sides. Now, I like to go a little sweet with my salmon, and today we're gonna be doing a maple bourbon glaze and it's gonna pair really well with the salmon as well as with this sweet rub. Touch up anything that you might have messed up, and it's time to get it into the smoker. One of the simplest and easiest recipes you can do with salmon, and it is absolutely delicious. Let's get over to the grill. Now we've got the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro running at 170 degrees. When it comes to salmon, the key is keeping the temperature low. So we're gonna keep this over off to the side like so, and get this lid shut. Now when it comes to salmon, temperature is everything. If you start to see some white protein secreting from the meat, that's called albumin, that means you're cooking it a little bit too high. Now you will see some naturally start to seep out of the meat, but if it seems like it's pouring out, you're doing too much. I like to keep the temperature between 160 and 180, and we're looking for 145 degree internal temperature on these salmon fillets. Now, we're gonna let this smoke, we're gonna let that rub really adhere to the surface, and then we're gonna start to glaze it. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. All right, as you can see, the salmon here is starting to dry a little bit on the surface, but it's not exactly dry. It is no longer wet to the point where the seasoning itself is gonna come off. Now, I've got some of my maple bourbon glaze. I'll put a recipe down in the description for what I use for this. Now, I also use a honey bourbon glaze, but today I decided to go with maple. Now, instead of brushing it on, you're gonna wanna drizzle it on. It is a little bit runny, and you may wanna just kinda tap it, but don't, don't really put a lot of drag on it. Just kinda drizzle it, maybe just kinda pat it onto the surface. Now, as you can see, we're not really getting much albumin secretion from this. You do see a little bit on this piece up in the corner. And, and just a little bit like right here on this piece, but it's very, very minimal. And the reason why is because we are cooking at this, at such a low temperature. We're doing it 170 degrees. Like I said, we wanna keep this between 160 and 180. 
Now you'll see people do salmon at 225, 250 plus. And the reality is you're missing out on absolute perfection. By going at these low temperatures, you're exposing it to more smoke and you're slowly bringing this up to temperature. And it's going to make for an incredible piece of salmon. Now this maple glaze will start to shine and you'll get a nice sticky finish on it. And it's gonna pair extremely well with that hay grill, hay sweet barbecue rub and with the salmon in general. And we will get this lid closed. We wanna do this about every 20 or 30 minutes as it's finishing up. All right, this salmon is just about done. I'm using my Thermapen 1 to check the internal temperature here. And we're 145. We are 145, 145, 147. That actually looks like all of them except this one right here. So I'm actually going to take that one off. And I'm going to leave it here on the grill. And I'm going to get the rest of these off, get them over to our table here, and we're going to give them a try. As you can see, this is some beautifully smoked and glazed salmon that we did here on the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro. One of my favorite things about that smoker is we can run that thing as low as 160 degrees. And with that, we're running between 160 and 180. You could see there was very little albumin that it came out or secreted from the salmon itself. And it makes for an incredibly tender and still flaky, not mushy. It makes for a very juicy bite. Now we use some of my maple bourbon glaze. I'll put the recipe down in the description. It's just some spices, some maple, some bourbon. We heat it up and reduce the alcohol down and get it to the point where it makes a beautiful glaze. And you can see and attributed to some great color as well as some, hopefully some good taste. Now I do use honey from time to time. So I interchange the honey for maple syrup and I have videos that use that recipe as well. Very similar though. We smoke this to 145 degrees internal temperature. That's when salmon is at its best. You don't wanna push it any further than that. But all of this means nothing until we give it a try. So let me cut into a piece of this salmon. Now, one thing that I look at right off the bat is that it's not mushy, it's not falling apart. It still has a nice meaty feel to it. I can cut it with my fork though, nice and tender. Skin comes right off the bottom. It cuts really nicely. It doesn't fall apart or flake apart and it's not mushy. Some of the problems with salmon that I find is people overcook it. You push it too far, run it too hot, you get the juices out, it just, it turns into mush. But let's give this salmon a try. The sweet barbecue rub from Hay Grill Hay was perfect on this. It's not overly sweet, but gives a good barbecue flavor. Now, one of the things that people would be concerned about is the glaze being too sweet. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's too sweet at all. I think it pairs perfectly with this. If you like a little bit of sweetness with your salmon, this is the way to do it. In fact, this is the way that we do it all the time. I rarely ever venture out from this recipe because it's that darn good. And if you're looking for more recipes that are that darn good, then I suggest you subscribe to the channel and check out this video right here.